All right, let's go to Katie Chikaski right now, constitutional <laughs> law attorney, not on what's going on with Tesla, but I do want to talk a little bit, uh, Katie, about what's going on uh, with Disney in this fight that it's having right now with Governor Ron DeSantis, who might be scoring points politically for taking away some special exemptions and privileges the company enjoys, but now we're told it might be a, a big legal hurdle to climb. Uh, the counties involved that would have to bear the cost of a separation are looking at big tax increases. Now some are saying that the governor can't even do this. First of all, can he do this? Well, I think you're right that Governor DeSantis made this move as a symbolic political move to tell corporations if you're going to get involved in political issues, there's going to be potential consequences, and that doesn't just fall on one side of the aisle. We can remember Hobby Lobby and Chick-fil-A had significant consequences on the other side of things. So hmm. to a great extent, I think there is a symbolic political position in this. Practically speaking, there are consequences that I don't think have been hashed out entirely. So. For all practical purposes, there can be litigation. Disney can sue to stop this. There can be a renegotiation of this new law. Or really, there could be consequences for the ta taxpayers in Florida, which I think is a, a greater concern. So overall, can he do this? I think that he has an argument that this is able to be done. But whether it's beneficial is really the bigger question. Yeah, I don't know securities, law guarantees, and tenants. Uh, I, I do know that they're talking about this uh, billion in, in debt right now uh, that would have to be, presumably, if a new entity took over, uh, it would have to be sold or passed over to the new entity. Uh, that would leave the, the state, if not at least the two key counties involved, on the hook for that. Uh, and that's something over which a governor and a legislature cannot rule. Uh, is that true? Because if it is, um, that that's another can of worms. Well, again, that's part of the statute that Disney is pointing to now to say that Florida cannot take away this status without actually taking care of this bill. That would be something ripe for litigation in terms of the interpretation of that. But if, in fact, Florida does have to take responsibility for that, that burden would fall on the taxpayers. So again, that leads you back to the question of, is this worthwhile? Is this cutting off your nose to spite your face? Or is this something that actually will send a message that Governor DeSantis thinks is overall beneficial for the state of Florida? So just to understand the other part of this, taxing two counties or the two counties involved having to you know, handle their own fire department, their own police department, the stuff that Disney has absorbed. Um, that won't be greeted favorably by those residents if it were to come to pass. But is that automatic? I don't think it's automatic. I think that that's Disney's argument at this point. Governor DeSantis has come out and said that he does not believe that Disney will get away with not paying for these, this debt. I think, again, that would have to be hashed out in litigation. But for practical purposes, I see that there could be some renegotiation of Disney's rights in this that would potentially limit the tax liability of those residents. Because again, I think that if Governor DeSantis is doing this for the benefit of Florida and for political purposes, he really would have to consider that huge impact on those residents of those counties. So this bill has been very limited in terms of the specifics. We yeah. have been promised that in the next few weeks there will be more specific details laid out about how this will all come to pass. But I think in the actual statute, it's not as clear cut as Disney is, is touting that they would automatically not have to be responsible for any of that debt. All right. We'll watch it very closely. Katie Jakeski, thank you very much. Constitutional law attorney. Again, uh, they have about a year to work this out, but it is clear that any cost being borne by Disney right now as part of this exclusive cutaway carve out uh, would have to be borne by somebody. Disney is saying, well, it, it, take that away from us. Jump ball. It's yours. No one's jumping. One more to this.